I make hyper-realistic cakes. And sometimes people tell me I make it look easy. While over the past decade, I have grown a lot as a decorator, I've made a lot of mistakes along the way. And some of those mistakes are pretty big. But before I get into all that, let me introduce myself. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a makeup cake. When I first decided to make a makeup-themed cake, I thought to myself, I have to make an eyeshadow palette. Because eyeshadow palettes have all kinds of pretty shimmery colors, and they're cute. But there is one problem when it comes to making a cake of an eyeshadow palette, and it's a big problem. Where am I gonna put the cake? <laughs> Eyeshadow palettes are thin. There's not a lot of girth to them. There just isn't any room for cake in there. Now, I don't wanna give up on the eyeshadow palette idea because I really like it. So I need a fix, a solution. I need to come up with a cake design that includes, well, includes cake, right? <laughs> the first thing that I'm thinking I can do is to stack a bunch of eyeshadow palettes like 10 tall, like an eyeshadow tower, if you will. Then I could cut down all the stacked palettes to reveal that the center is cake. But I'm just not crazy crazy about this idea. Because it wasn't that long ago that I made a cake of a stack of plates, and I just think the two cakes would be too similar. So I decided to include a makeup bag to go with my eyeshadow palette. Not only is a makeup bag fun to make, but it's plenty girthy to fit cake. That's it, that's the answer. I can make an eyeshadow palette and other makeup products out of chocolate and then place them into a cake makeup bag. Plus, I really like all the fun textures that I can use to make a makeup bag. There's fabric, a zipper, an edible plastic window so that you can see into the bag where my chocolate makeup is chilling. This is a great solution. And it's gonna look cute and cool. Cool. My two favorite adjectives. So I've been making cakes for over a decade, and from the very start, I've sculpted cake the same way that I would any other traditional fine art material. To me, clay and cake are both just materials I can use to make art. One just lasts a lot longer, but the other one tastes a lot better, so. Over the years, I've had my fair share of learning experiences, AKA disasters. And sadly, the biggest cake mistake that I've ever made was not a cake that I made for my YouTube channel. Oh no, this was a cake I made for a customer, a paying customer who was celebrating a milestone birthday, who wanted a special cake for their special day. <sighs> this one's tragic. This story makes me so uncomfortable. All right, here it goes. My biggest cake fail happened during the summer here in Austin, Texas. So it was hot, like really hot. It was over 100 degrees and sunny. It was the morning of the party and I was finishing up the cake and getting it ready for delivery. The birthday girl was a big fan of two-stepping, which is a country Western dance. So the cake was in the shape of a cowboy boot. Very cute, very appropriate, and very top heavy. So I had the cake, it was boxed, it was ready to load in the car. And that's when I realized that I didn't turn the air conditioning on. Do you wear clothes or know someone who does? Well, get yourself some more by heading over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com. That's where you can get some Sidesurf Cake Studio clothes. We also have coffee mugs, stickers, beach towels, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link below so you don't get lost on your way to the store. And now back to the cake. It was 110 degrees in the car, and I was on a very tight schedule. I had to leave as soon as possible because the husband ordered this cake as a surprise. He was very adamant about it being on site at a specific time where his wife would enter the room and then the cake would be waiting for her. It was gonna be like a big moment. So yeah, I was in trouble. I had two options. Wait until the car cooled down and risk missing the big surprise, or put the cake in the car and risk it melting. I made the tough decision to risk it melting. I figured if I missed the surprise, then what was the point? So I was driving in the hot car with the cake on my way to the venue, and at a red light, I nervously peek back at it, and my heart sank. The cowboy boot cake was melting. It was leaning, and the top edge started to fold down. I wanted to cry. So I took a deep breath, and I came up with a plan. 
I needed to get to the venue as fast as possible, let the cake cool down in the air conditioning, and then once it was back at room temperature, try my best to fix it. Back when I used to make cakes for customers, I always brought a cake repair kit in case anything went wrong. I was so glad I at least got that right. So once the cake cooled down a bit, I got to work. And I lucked out so hard because the customer let me know that the party was actually behind schedule. So I was able to put the time in to fix the cake and it really did end up looking great. The cake surprise happened, the birthday girl loved it, and I never made that mistake again. <laughs> While I made a lot of mistakes that day, I do have to commend myself for getting in the right headspace to fix the situation. I could have just panicked and gave up, but instead I tried my best to work towards a solution and it resulted in a happy ending. And there you have it, a makeup themed cake. I'm loving all the colors, I'm loving all the texture, I'm loving that I was able to include the eyeshadow palette. All right, let's cut the cake. Oh yeah, I like this one. If you like this video, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. I post a brand new cake every week. And I'll see you next week for another cake.